Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A tool set in Acrobat 11 is a combination of a set of buttons that will appear in the Quick Tools area of the Quick Tools toolbar as well as task panes that will appear in the task pane area when you click the tools button at the right end of the common tools toolbar. By default you have access to two tool sets the default tools tool set and the common tools tool set. However, you can also create and customize your own tool sets for the activities that you perform most often in Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro to simplify your workflow. You can even import and export saved tool sets so that you can easily move them to other computers that also have Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro installed so you won't need to recreate them on multiple machines. You can view and manage the tool sets by clicking either the Customize button at the right end of the Quick Tools toolbar or by selecting View and then rolling down to the Tool Sets command from the menu bar. Doing either task will display the same menu of commands that allow you to choose, create, and manage the tool sets. Within this menu, the currently selected tool set will appear with a check mark next to its name. By default, the Default Tools tool set, which appears at the top of the menu, is selected. This tool set contains the default buttons shown in the Quick Tools section of the Quick Tools toolbar and the default panels shown within the Task pane when you click the Tools button at the right end of the Common Tools toolbar. Any modifications made to the Quick Tools toolbar as shown in the previous lesson will probably be applied to this tool set unless you selected a different tool set prior to making the modifications. Any custom tool sets that you create will appear in the third section of this menu in the future next to the Common Tools tool set choice. To create a new tool set, select the Create New Tool Set command in the menu of commands to open the Create New Toolset dialog box. You use this dialog box to choose the tools to add to the Quick Tools toolbar as well as the panes that will appear in the Tools panel of the Task pane when this toolset is selected. As customizing the buttons to add to the Quick Tools toolbar was just covered in the previous lesson, we will assume you know how to do that part and skip covering it again. Start by customizing the buttons that you want to have appear within the Quick Tools toolbar. When that is finished, you can then turn to choosing which tools to add to the panes that are shown in the Tools and Custom Tools pane section at the right side of this dialog box. To create a new Custom Tools pane, Click the Add Panel button at the far right side of this dialog box. Type a name for the new panel into the Add or Edit Label dialog box that appears and then click the Save button in the dialog box to add the new panel. To add instructional text into the selected panel, click the Add Instruction button. Type the instructions into the Add or Edit Label dialog box that appears and then click the Save button to add the instructions to the panel. To add buttons to the selected panel, choose the button of the tool that you want to add in the left pane and then click it to select it. Then click the Add to Custom Tools Pane button to move the selected button into the selected panel to the right. To add a divider to a panel, click the button or instruction that is above the location where you want the divider to appear and then click the Add Divider to Custom Tool Pane button to add a divider below the selected object within the panel. You can then repeat this process of adding panels, instructional text, buttons, and dividers to create the panels within the Custom Tools pane.
Note that you can click the panel names to collapse and expand the contents of each panel shown if needed. You can change the order of the elements within a panel or the order of the panels themselves to move them up or down within the Custom Tools pane. To do this, first select the item whose order you want to rearrange within the Custom Tools pane. Then click either the Move Up or Move Down buttons to change the order of the selected element until it's in the desired position. Note that elements within a panel cannot be moved from one panel into another but must instead be removed from the current panel and then added to the desired panel in a separate step. To delete a selected item from a panel or to delete an entire panel itself, first select the item that you want to delete within the Custom Tools pane. Then click the Remove from Custom Tools pane button to delete the selected item from the Custom Tools pane. To edit the text of a panel title or instructions, first select the panel or instructions to edit within the Custom Tools pane. Then click the Edit Panel Name or Instructions button to display the Add or Edit Label dialog box again, where you can make your editing changes to the text shown, and then click the Save button to save them. After you have finished creating the buttons that you want to have appear within the Quick Tools section of the Quick Tools toolbar, and also created the panels to display within the Custom Tools pane of the Task pane, click the Save button at the bottom of the Create New Toolset dialog box. You then type a name for the new toolset into the Save Toolset dialog box. and then click the Save button to finish creating the toolset. Note that if you click the Customize button at the right end of the Quick Tools toolbar, or choose View and Toolsets from the menu bar, you will see your newly created toolset selected. You can, of course, switch between the toolsets listed in this menu as needed. If you wish to create more tool sets, simply repeat the process again to create as many tool sets as you need. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.